sun today. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. But going to Mars should be uh, one of the next series of steps. That Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not... Uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and and that's the way it happened. And, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. So, What was going through your mind? How, how amazed were you to see your roadster up there with Starman? <laughs> Uh, just cruising along with the Blue Planet, and how long will we be getting live views, do you think, from the car? Well, I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. Um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> like, we'd have way better CGI if it was fake. Um, what, what happens if someone ultimately does get a Neuralink installed, what will take place? Well, for version one of the device, it would be um, it, it basically it implanted in your skull. So, uh, <laughs> but it would be so, uh, flush with your skull. So you basically uh, take out a chunk of skull, replace, put the neural link device in there. Um, you'd, you'd put the the electrode. You'd insert the electrode threads very carefully into the the brain, um, and uh, and then you, you know, stitch it up, and um, and you wouldn't even know that somebody has 